Attention passengers, we've now reached our destination. We hope you enjoyed the flight and have a nice day. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and our topic for today is the Q&A that I made in Facebook, Instagram, anywhere in my social media account. If you're excited to learn the answers, just keep on watching. Welcome to Jealous Styles PH. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. My vlogs are about travel, beauty, and flight attendant topics. So if you're ready, we'll start! Alright guys, so ito na. I'll start with my Q&A. Let's start this! Okay, from Danica Raguin. Tama ba ako? Okay. Advice to those who wants to be FA and pa shout out. Okay, hello Danica, thank you for your question. Ang advice ko for flight attendants or future flight attendants, of course you need to really be focused on your goal. What is really your goal? Or you need to dream big and do research, a lot of research on the requirements of a cabin crew. And ngayon pa lang, mag prepare ka na. Don't wait for so long to prepare yourself. Like for me, um, I did my braces when I started in college. So after I graduate, I removed my braces. You need to have a time span. Ayun. And if you're still studying, do not take your studies for granted and do more activities. Tayo from Angelica Baulos. Pangarap niyo na po ba yung pagiging cabin crew ng bata pa kayo? Pangarap ko na ba yun? Of, um, I'll say no. Because when I was a kid, I really wanted to be a dentist. Ayun, because my Nina it was a dentist before. So I really admire her. She's so smart and I want to be a dentist. Well, I started to, uh, to like cabin crew or to dream to be a cabin crew when I was in fourth year high school. Okay, next from Nicole and Pete. Best flying experience? Well, best flying experience, of course, we're talking about the best. So, I'll say the best airline in the world, Qatar Airways, of course. And it's really my dream job to travel a lot. And Qatar Airways made my dream come true. That's why it's my best experience so far. Thank you for that question. Okay, next tayo kay Maria Krishna. Okay. Advice to those who wants to become a FA at the same time having a perfect relationship. Well, I already answered my advice, no? Kanina. First question. So, ang sasagutin ko na lang is having a perfect relationship. Well, for me, there's no such thing as perfect relationship, di ba? <laughs> oh, lagi nyo kayo nag-aaway. Uy, grabe ka! Huwag dito. <laughs> Anyways, ayun. Wala namang perfect relationship. But, what I can advise is, especially now, LDR, right? You need to have trust with each other. Okay? I know it sounds very cliche. It sounds very cliche, right? But, it's true. It's true that trust is very important. Thank you. Okay, from Maria Lynn Fabiliar. Pinaka memorable mo experience as flight attendant at eh. Maka memorable. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> take two, take two. <laughs> Okay. Kasi Tagalog yung tanong niya, kaya siguro tinagalog niya. Okay, sorry. Next, from Maria Lynn Fabiliar. Pinaka-memorable mong experience as a flight attendant? Pinaka-memorable? Okay, I think um, I'll consider it as a whole, not in flight. So, for me, yung pinaka-memorable is, of course, when I graduate and I got my wings at Qatar Airways the happiest moment in my life. I can never imagine yung saya na oh my god, all the hard work and this is it. Alright? So that's the most memorable for me. Okay, next. Ito naman from Donna May 
Senones Mukato. Sorry, hindi ko alam if tama mag-pronounce yung name niyo. May na-encounter ka na po bang passenger na nakakainis? Nakakainis madami. Madaming madami. Pero, I'll share one story since, ayan, para makapag-share na rin tayo ng experience. There's one passenger and he's seated seated? <laughs> he's seated at the front row of economy. Okay, front row and our galley, galley means the kitchen of the plane, is only one. It's behind, behind the aircraft. And this passenger first asked me for whiskey. So I gave him a whiskey. Then, once, nung pagkabigay ko sa kanya, sa kanya nung whiskey, he said, um, can I ask for a ginger ale? He said, sure, sir, no problem. I'll get back and give you the ginger ale. So, Ayun, bumalik ako and I gave him a ginger ale. Then, next, after I gave him the ginger ale, he asked me, uh, Miss Sorry, can I also have a ice? I want ice on my whiskey. And I was like, okay, sir, no problem. Of course, we need to have more patience, right? So, bumalik na naman ako sa gali to get the ice. And then, after I gave him the ice, he asked me once again, Miss Sorry, my wife wants a ginger ale. <laughs> Di ba nakakainis? I mean, ilang beses na ako bumalik. And then I asked him, Sir, would you like anything else as well? <laughs> so ayun, sobrang nakakainis. And some passengers as well, even though they're so macho, they will even ask you to lift their bags. Or they will just leave it there. A very usual scenario. Okay, next, from Sherwin Patano. Ano po ba ang benefit sa pagiging flight attendant? A shoutout na din po. Shoutout, Sherwin Patano. Ayun, very loyal natin itong nanonood. Uh, Sherwin, I already uh, gave you the link about the benefits of being a flight attendant. And actually, I already made a part 2 of this video. It's the first, the part 1 is... Uh, <laughs> Yun, yung part 1, ang title niya is Advantages of Being a Flight Attendant Then the part 2 is Disadvantages So I'll just put the link on the description box Since uh, it's a lot to talk about Yung benefits Since masyadong madami siya That's why I made a separate video about it But I'll give you one example Of course, travel It's one of the benef be benefits <laughs> Ayun Okay, next from Jana Marie Ortega. Ano pa plan niyo pagtapos na po kayo sa pagiging airplane niyo po? Ayun, uh, Jana, you're right. Yes, Jana, uh, as of now, I don't have any plans yet. O uh, pag, na, pag natapos ako maging FA. But for sure, I, I will not fly my whole life, no? Since I want to have my own family as well. And I'm thinking of studying something about medicine. Ayun. Just still thinking. <laughs> Kasi mahaba-haba yun masyado. So, Lola ka na nun. Lola na nun. Lola ko nun. Grabe siya. <laughs> okay, from Bea, Colorado, Narca. Advice po sa mga gusto mag-FA pero madaming imperfections sa body. Pa-shoutout na din po. Thank you. Okay, shoutout to Bea, Narca. Thank you for that question. No? Kasi very specific. Okay. Since, uh, ang advice ko lagi sa mga nagchat-chat sa akin about that, yung may mga imperfection, well, nobody's perfect, right? So, still, you have a chance and you need to try. You really need to try first before judging yourself na, I think I don't look good to be a flight attendant. No, that's not true. We have our own beauty, diba? Yun. And what else? Some of you are asking, uh, I'm not that white. I don't look white or something. Well, that's not about the skin color. Color? <laughs> it's not about the skin color. It's not about that. So you need to try first and they will let you know kung may kailangan kang paalis, may kailangan kang paayos. Ayun. From Ed J. Biron. How's your experience, Ate Jel, working with different nationalities? Ayun, thank you, Edjay. 
uh, my experience is really really nice I can say it's the best experience as well working with other nationalities madami akong natutunan pa lalo since iba iba yung culture natin and also for the passenger itself iba iba rin yung culture so first matututo ka muna sa kanila eh. like they will say on this flight to uh, for example for us in the Philippines so we will also we will also teach them you know like for us we call banyo CR and a lot of nationalities don't call banyo a CR they don't know CR or they don't know that we are pointing something when we do like this <laughs> anyway. so for me I also learned that other nationalities and these you don't point your finger to them right uh, I mean even for us it's so nakaka open pag nag point sila ng finger sayo or even like this or maybe for other nationalities like this one means uh, they want to eat since some of them can't they cannot uh, communicate with you in English so they will try to do something to make you understand what they want okay next from Aliana Araho mahirap po ba ang training bilang isang FA A shout out na din okay shout out to Aliana Araho Araho sorry Ayan, thank you for the question. Again, mahirap ba ang training? Mahirap kung mahirap, yes. Well, especially kung first time, first time ko kasi talaga with Skyjet. So, sobra ako nahirapan. And, meron silang percentage para makapasa. And, pag hindi mo na meet yung percentage na yun, may lifeline ka. Like, I think, I think three lifelines. But with Qatar Airways, meron na rin naman akong experience sa Skyjet. So, hindi na ako masyadong nahirapan sa Qatar Airways since almost the same naman yung training. And, mas, I can say na mas intense ang training sa Philippines. And, mas strict sila lalo na sa swimming. And, watch the part 2 of my uh, cabin crew journey with Skyjet. And, makikita mo dun saan talaga ako pinaka nag-struggle. Okay, next from Ria Kimbao. What are your skincare day and night routine? Ayun, hi Ria. Ayun, since uh, since it's quarantine and wala sa akin lahat ng skincare products ko, kung ano lang meron ako ngayon na ginagamit ko for one, more than one month now, so yun na lang ipapakita ko muna. Ayun, uh, ito lang yung pasimang nadala kong products from Qatar. And so first, itong snail white ng facial wash. This is what I use during the day. And very young ako dito. And ayun, meron ako na bigay na review and basta ko siya nabili sa isa kong, uh, isa kong vlog. So I'll just put the description box ko. Then next, uh, fish, facial wash yun. No? And this one is Kiehl's Rare Earth. Ito. So I only use this during night kasi parang hindi ko siya masyadong hilang. But I really like it because it says exfoliates and detoxify. So, di ba, during the day parang you feel like the whole day, nasa, nandiyan ka, eh, lahat ng alkabok na sa mukha mo. So, ayun. That's why I want to exfoliate my skin, like, rub during the night. Yes. Then, of course, after I wash my face, I put a toner. Just because I feel like it's an alcohol and nakikin, nakikin, So, ayun. I feel like nalilinis na yung, ano, ko, yung mukha ko more, 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 more. And, ito. During the day, as well, I put this one, the aloe vera soothing gel. This one's really nice. Sa weather natin. It's like a moisturizer, but not really moisturizer. Like, na oily and steamy. Since it's hot here in the Philippines, I don't really want to put moisturizer. I'll just put this one. And, ayun. And sometimes, I also use this Lani Water Sleeping Mask. And the uh, Lani Deep Sleeping Mask. Just two are the best one. So, I'll just put on the description box below. Kung saan ko ito nabili. And also, yung... Hindi pa yung spa ko nilabi. Parang wala. But anyways, ayun. Kung saan ko siya nabili. Yung may vlog na ko na ginawa dito. So, it's on the from Jessa Aguila Makuha. Ano pong pwede yung i-advise sa mga incoming college students na mag-take ng BSTM na course? Tsaka po, pari, kung gaano kahirap at the same time kasayang maging isang FA. A shout out po. Shout out to Jessa Aguilar Makuha. Thank you so much. Aguila. Uh, Agu Aguila. Huh? Makuha. Huh? Oh, Maluwa. <laughs> Thank you so much. So first question, what's my advice for those incoming tourism students? Well, first of all, why ask yourself why did you choose tourism? Is it only because you want to be a flight attendant? Well, ask yourself, right? And second, study well. 
course. Then third, if you can uh, join any extracurricular activities, especially with a certificate, grab the opportunity. Because, ayun, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa resume mo once nag-apply ka. What I mean is, sa sobrang dami ng aspirants, sa sobrang daming gusto maging flight attendant, what is your edge? If all of you are studying Bachelor of Science major in Tourism Management, so at least if all of you are studying BS Tourism, well, at least you have a lot of certificate, like you're very uh, active in the school, right? So, your resume will be what? Three pages. When I applied, my resume is in three pages. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ayun. The next question is, rate kung gano kahirap ang pagiging flight attendant and gano kasaya. Well, kahirap, I can say, out of 10, it's, Six. Six. Why? Because actually it still depends on which airline airline you work for. For example, in SkyJet, I will rate for five. Five because uh, sometimes I do three legs, which is tatlong turnaround flights. And that's really nakakapagod, but then there's no service. How about in Qatar Airways? I rate it six. Why? Because... Um, Hindi siya ganun nakakapagod since we have late over. We get enough rest, but we have a service. Like full service, we keep food, we can serve this food, and so on. Nakakapagod siya, of course. But at the end of the day, you'll get the enough rest and good day over. And gano kasaya? I can say 9 oh. out of 10. Why 9? And because if I'll say 10 out of 10, I'll be happy all the time. Of course, not. it's not always happy, right? So sometimes, what I mentioned already in my disadvantages of being a flight attendant, sometimes you need to celebrate your birthday alone or you cannot uh, attend any gathering. So, of course, it's lonely as well. Okay, from Jean Rose Prianeza Laga. Is it possible na madali kang matanggal sa training if di ka marunong lumangon? Hehe, di po kasi ako marunong. Well, uh, Jean Rose, pareho tayo. So you can watch my uh, journey to SkyJet Airlines and I've mentioned there and you're going to go and find out about Well, it depends on the airlines, I can say, if they're going to Well, for me, they're going SkyJet in terms of swimming. Naman, meron naman no way salvavida or yung life jacket to save your life. And you can practice also, maybe, at least floating. And practice at least floating because for me, I'm so afraid. Like, sa 10 feet, it's so hard. Pero hindi naman necessarily pwede babagsak ka agad. But here in the Philippines, they are very strict about it. So if you try to apply here, so ayun no, Jean, Jean Rose, depending pa rin talaga sa airlines kung saan ka matatanggap. But I suggest prepare yourself if you're trying to fly here in the Philippines. Sa international makino. Because uh, they will always think of your safety to always put a life jacket. Since in reality, before you go out of the aircraft, you really need to put your life jacket and pull your life jacket in the boat. Okay, next from Rex Gonzaga na lang kasi ang hirap at basahin ng name niya. So, funny or embarrassing encounter with the passenger? Actually, hindi ba talaga ako maisip ng funny or embarrassing moment with the passenger? So, tinanong ko pa yung boyfriend ko, like, pinapwento ba ako sa'yo na nakakatawa or nakakahiya na ginawa ko sa pasahil? And he said, no, you always complain, like, na nakakahiya din sila, or irate passenger mostly. So, nakakwento ko, funny or embarrassing, maybe embarrassing moment, like, nung Minsan kasi hindi sila naglalock ng lavatory and then minsan pagbukas mo may tao na lang. So, syempre yun nakakahiya yun. Or, very common, like I always say good morning. Good morning, welcome on board. And they will say, but it's evening or it's afternoon. <laughs> so, ayun lang. Yun lang, wala talaga ako masyadong funny moments with them. Okay, next from Jeremy B. Advice po sa dapat at di dapat gawin kapag mag applied or ano, mga susuotin, etc. Mga di dapat gawin. So, yun your question is, di, di dapat at dapat gawin during the interview. So, of course, before you go to an interview, you need to come prepared, right? And you need to be confident to yourself and you need to know how to sell yourself to them. And what else? You need to be ready and you need to research about the company. So, yun yung mga dapat mong gawin. You really need to prepare yourself and how to look since you, uh, you've asked. 
regarding the looks or what to wear okay so for what to wear i'll just put in the description box below as well the link since na mentioned ko na siya but for guys since hindi ako wala akong ano mga damit for guys so i'll just uh, put a sample pictures here but um, you have an idea and you can also cut your hair make sure you have a uh, your well groomed you need to have good mm -hmm. and make sure to cut your hair and not too short not too long make it uh, stylish and not too stylish not too much with a funky style right more unprofessional looking wait so yeah i'll just face a picture and you will need that but go in during interview first of all don't be late that's number one you don't need to be late second they will ask you about the company and you don't know anything that's a big no since you're already uh, there so they're expecting you to know more about the company lack of enthusiasm so you need to have more enthusiasm and it na gusto mo talaga yung job another thing uh don't talk about your previous company that you didn't like them you know don't talk back about your previous company that's a uh, no no don't do that and next is don't be too confident wag masyadong confident or maybe you will look like arrogant person so it's not really good since we are in a hospitality industry you need to be more <laughs> oh my god hi <laughs> 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 So ayun, no ma agree lang yung pusa na yan siguro sa atin. Okay. <laughs> so yun na yun, guys. Okay? Okay, last one from Grace and Templo Esguerra. Favorite place na napuntahan nyo na po? Pa shout out na din po. Shout out to Grace and Templo Esguerra. Thank you for the question. Ayun, last question natin. What's my favorite destination? Of course, ang uh, lagi kong sagot is New Zealand because I am a nature lover and I really love New Zealand. And sobrang dami activities na magagawa doon. I stayed there for like 3 days. And I'm really thankful. Imagine it's just a layover. Layover means uh you go to another country with your company while working with them. Okay. So you stay there with them and it's just so lucky because you have this opportunity, right? And yeah, New Zealand is my favorite. Next is Italy of course because of the food, the history and all since I'm a vintage lover. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you like it and I have answered all your questions. If you have further questions, follow up. <laughs> if you have follow up questions, just leave it in the comment box below. I'll answer them for you right away in the comment section. Thank you and I love you all. Once again, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you like it. And if you do, please do subscribe and be a FA Diary fam as well. And if you have any questions, please do leave a message at my Instagram account.